morning. I've just gone for another run. Let me tell you, everything in my entire being is fighting it. Do you see this person walking right here? I actually ran at about double the pace because I thought he was going to kill me. This old majestic tree it just got hit down the middle. Back at the reservoir, having a lovely run. I have noticed there may be a serial killer behind me. This guy is moving very quickly. So if you don't hear from me, it's because I've been murdered by this. He appears to be an aging tennis champion. He's keeping his head down because he doesn't want to be identified. Maybe that's just insane anxiety or like too, like an overactive imagination or maybe not just bonkers. Hello, lunatic, hello. You look like Jack Nicholson. Are you missing your hair? I'm glad we did it. I think your hair looks fabulous. It looks yucky. You don't want to have it for breakfast? Look at this lovely farm stand here. Now listen, I don't worry about serial killers the entire time. I'd say I've just got like a small amount of my time worrying about serial killers. And then I spend a lot of time being anxious about COVID and just big mammals and reptiles like crocodiles. Ooh, the dump's busy. I also worry about financial ruin, cancer, and strangely enough, meteorites. Global warming, the end of this planet, you know, small things like that. Wow. I don't worry a lot about falling off cliffs. That's not a big fear for me. Daisy, what do you worry about? Anything? A lot of two-worders up here. Love yourself. Someone stenciled in, Cuomo's gotta go. What? Seems like a really ornate project for this oh. location. Rude. This is stencil number two. Peace, Dad. I think of you every time I'm here. Oh, gosh. I am actually going to tag Amanda. This is the third time they've stenciled this on. This person invested over 20 minutes of their time stenciling this on. Sorry, are you okay? It's like a combination of a scrotum and an anus. There's something vaguely scary about the fact that a 14 year old is operating this, but we've run out of things to do. I definitely have moments where I worry about car accidents. It's much, much more likely, isn't it? But it's the sort of crazy stuff like, I don't know, 2,700 tons of ammonia nitrate blowing up my entire city. Those are the kind of things that nowadays keep me up at night. COVID. Actually, the number one killer in women is cardiovascular disease. That's like heart attacks and stroke, but I never worry about that. Maybe I should. You're literally not moving at all. Oh, okay, now you're gonna run. Crocs, COVID, meteorites, just death in general. Are those red ants? Being afraid of not... Oh my God, this is really hard. Being afraid of being afraid of not doing the things that you love. This is the last bit I do, like chariots of fire where I like pretend to people in the parking lot that I've actually run really quickly the entire way. This is the fake quick one. This is actually how I run. I just got home and Augie got stung in the eye by a wasp. Mom, baby, what are the chances baby, a wasp is gonna sting baby, your baby mom, mom, on the eye? Mom, mom. Which is kind of proof that there are so many things to be afraid of, but you can't plan for any of them. Say nay nay. Can you say nay nay? Nay nay.